What's going on guys, it's Blue Hunters, and in this video I'm going to be doing an update to my previous RPCS3 video. Um, you guys had a lot of questions and I kind of want to just clear it up by you know, doing it again with the most updated features and uh, just so you guys can see what I'm doing, I'll probably slow it down a little bit and uh, yeah, but I couldn't answer a lot of your guys' questions in the last video, so if you do have questions I would recommend going to the actual RPCS3 official Discord and asking there because they will probably help you out a lot better than I can. Anyways, let's uh, get this video started. I appreciate you liking the video, subscribing to the channel. We're super close to a thousand. So if we get there, we'll be partner with YouTube. So help me out and then we'll be doing some giveaway once we once we reach that point. But anyways, we'll get right into the video. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the actual RPCS3 website, and we're going to download the software. So this is RPCS3.net. I'll leave all the links in the description to make it a little bit easier on you guys. And you know, go into downloads like I just did, and click for whatever operating system you have. I have Windows, so I'll click Windows. Once that's done downloading, we're going to open it up with whatever file extracting app you have. I use Breezip, but you can use whatever. Um, a shortcut you can do is you'll click it, the very first file, and go down to the last one and hold shift and left click. And it'll highlight all those files for you to make it a bit quicker to actually move them over. So I already made this folder called RPCS3, and I put a file called firmware and just where the games are going to go just so everything's organized and I don't need to look for look for anything it looks like I forgot one file so we'll do this again all right and then we'll just drag this into this file we have or folder that we made and now everything is in there we can close breezip and we can close this rpcs3 I'm going to close this too just because um now what we need to go is into the PlayStation website and this is where we'll get the firmware so at playstation.com we click on support go into hardware that was weird but it worked and then we'll go into other products then the ps3 and this is where it gets a little confusing so i'm gonna slow it down uh, we'll go into the software update and then we're going to be doing it by computer then we'll do ps3 system software update it's going to bring you to another one and then we're going to click on update using computer. And then right here, it says right click, select save as to start the download. So we'll right click it, save link as. And then I'm going to put this in that folder that I made. The RPCS3 folder, go into firmware. And then it wants us to do PCS3 update.pup. So we'll just add the .pup in there save it and now we have the firmware that we will be using to run the ps3 emulator okay good thing this popped up so it says it can't be downloaded securely it is safe it's literally from the sony website so it is safe to download all right so now we have all this stuff and we are ready to actually get in to the setup process um so first download is going to have you do all this stuff Start menu shortcut, create desktop shortcut. I'm just gonna do that. And uh, say that I've read that, continue. And now we get into the fun stuff. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is put in the firmware. We wanna install it. So let me do that again. So we go into file and then down into install firmware and then we go into our firmware file inside our rpcs3 there's our file i'm going to open it and it will start downloading successfully installed pscs3 or ps3 firmware and lle modules don't show again okay so there's that and it's going to do this little window and this could take a while but it's just downloading the basically the whole ps3 software on your computer all right now that it's done we're going to click refresh and then our ps3 interface is there 
and we're just going to open that up so we can finish installing everything that we need. All right, now that that is all done, you see all the, the on the log on the bottom is still doing a bunch of stuff, but it's all good. Um, I'm just gonna allow access here. And then what you wanna do before you can move on is go into pads and what you're gonna be using. So I'm using a Xbox um, Elite controller. I think it's Elite Controller 2 or the second one. So you do the X input, and then this will be um, mapped to an Xbox controller. I'm not really sure. Obviously, you can use PS3 controllers. There's the DualShock 3, DualShock 4, and I'm guessing this is the newest PS or PlayStation controller. But yes, this is all the stuff you can use. And but yes, I'm using X input with an Xbox controller. Hit save. And then we'll open up that interface one more time and using my controller, press A, goes on. And it's going to do some more. And then it should open up the actual PS3, like loading intro. There it is. Go through the setup real quick. All right, got through the setup. And boom. The firmware and the interface is all set up and we're ready to start adding games. Don't worry about this, we can just actually close this now. Go ahead and close that and now to add now we can add the games to it so what we're going to do is go to file add games and then i made this bim game just th that's where it holds my games and in there is going to have the folder containing all the files of the game so you want to make sure that you're actually importing an entire folder not just an iso file iso files do not work with the rpcs3 uh, emulator just so you know and you can see that just like that the game is already in here just to make it quicker to access for me I'm gonna, gonna right click it create shortcut for the desktop and then it will create that game on the desktop for me so I can just click it and play it but we're just gonna open up the game just to show you that it actually works this will show up every time you open the game because it's gotta download the modules for you and boom we are inside the game make the game full screen go ahead and double click that the little screen and it will make it full screen for you and then we're just gonna oh it looks like it had more things to download once it's done downloading everything should be good to go i haven't tried this game on the rpcs3 but should work just fine um another little thing so i can't tell you illegal ways to get the video games so i can what i can tell you is just you can go on google and type in rom games and if it starts with a v you're probably good but here double click so we can get in the full screen and everything's loading and we should be playing plants vs zombies just to show you that it actually works and um so the people that say it doesn't work i do not know what your issue is i would recommend going to the rpcs3 discord and asking your questions there because as you saw i just did it again without any issues and, um, yeah it works um, after I show you a little gameplay, I want to tell you a couple more tips 
that you can use to see if your game will work with the RPCS3 or not because that was another thing people were uh, asking besides where to get the games which I cannot tell you unless you get them from the actual um, Sony website I cannot tell you where I got this game um, I don't even remember how to play this to be honest press X to plant your seed oh, okay boom get that over all right well yeah you can see the game works so that's all i'm going to show on this and i just want to show you a couple more things you can hit escape to minimize the screen and then you can just go ahead and close it one tip for you guys to do if you want to see if a game is compatible or not again you go to the rpcs3 compatibility list or just compatibility you can do that on google and click on compatibility list and then all you got to do is search for the game that you want to play let's see a game um like god of war 3. all right god of war 3 and then it'll tell you what these statuses are so there's the playable you can complete the game in game there's an issue inside of the game you can't finish it or it just has some performance issues Intro, you can't get past the intro. Loadable is, yeah. So if it's in-game and playable, you're most likely able to play it. And you might have some issues with the in-game one, but playable, you won't have any issues. So you can see that God of War has in-game issues. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to use that as an example for that. And then, like I said earlier, if you have questions on stuff and you just don't understand... Go to that RPCS3 Discord, which I will leave a link in the description. And you can go ahead and just hop into that help and ask whatever questions you need. Because like you saw in mine, it works perfectly fine. Oh, one last tip. One last tip for the game. Um, so we'll just use God of War again, again for this example. If you click on the game in that compatibility list, it will tell you the best configurations for the uh, emulator for the specific game so like for this we go into the um actual emulator and then we can right click the game and we would create a custom configuration and this is where you would do all of this stuff so the cpu configuration is in this tab gpu and so on so forth but yeah as you guys saw it worked just fine for me i hope it works for you guys but that's going to be it for this video. Um, as you saw, it worked just fine for me. I hope it works for you guys. And you do, if you do have like little questions, I would recommend you can join my Discord and ask questions there. But if it's something really complicated that you didn't see in this video, I would go ahead and hop into the RPCS3 Discord and ask away there. Um, but yeah, again, hope this was helpful. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers, and I will be doing a giveaway to my subscribers during a stream once we hit that 1000 mark so stay tuned for that um i appreciate all of you for watching i hope this helps and hopefully fix your issue if you had one from the previous video but yeah have a good day and i will see you guys in the next video peace out